Uh, you're just embarrassing yourself now. Yeah, hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. Welcome to Dungeon 2, the Desert Palace. And most of the stuff you don't really have to kill here. <laughs> There's levers that pop out of the uh, ground similar to ye old sandy guys outside, but, you know, the gold men's. But there really isn't all that much stuff that you have to kill on the outside here. The real portion of this dungeon here is in the doors along the, the perimeter of these rooms here, by the way. Um, yeah, that's a Beemos, and they are a pretty mean enemy. They shoot a laser beam at you when you pass by their sight, so be careful of that. And careful of those. Yeah, those are like, see those little sand trap duders? What they do is if you should, say, get into their sand, it's hard to get out of their sand. Like, you see, it kind of pulls you in like that. And yeah, I'm kind of messing around with them a little bit too much here, probably. But you can uh, guard yourself by the wall, and you can also attack them rapidly as they're coming out of the ground, so you don't have to worry about them um, as they're coming at you. So, it, it, they aren't entirely a trap enemy, despite how they look, because you can just kind of force your way through them. <laughs> but yeah, it is something to... Oh, wait, wait, I need my bow out. But yeah, it is something that you should uh, probably have a little bit of strategy with, I think. Bye-bye. <laughs> hey, bye-bye. And now I'm going to get my lantern. Uh-huh. Uh, bloop. Bloop. Oh, wait, that... that oh, that's the thing that... <laughs> Okay, I forgot about that. I came in here first because it gives you the dungeon map. <clears throat> um, I don't not really... I forgot where I would like to go first, just like I did in the first dungeon for maximum efficiency. But uh, let's just wander around here, I guess. Let's play around with these things. Uh-huh. Mm, go in here. Oh, we got a little hint. First this. Yep, like the book. Ow! <laughs> Stop that. Leak, it is I. <laughs> you must never find, fail to find all the treasures in each dungeon. I won't. My OCD refuses to let me skip out on any of them. Any of them. Stop that, please. Stop. Stop that. <laughs> anyway, I'm, I probably should just go over here. And then the switch I'm looking for is under this one. Run, 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 run. Uh, Alright, that's... That's where I need a big key for. Oopsie daisy! Uh, that's fine. Oop, oop. Yeah, you can resupply in here, by the way. That's why I'm not pulling up any, uh, oop! Any pots. <clears throat> any, I should say, any unnecessary pots. Uh, aren't you gonna shoot? Oh, you're not the shooting variety. <laughs> uh, Alright, I can, I can live with that then. Uh, what's in here? Arrows, rupees, delightful. <laughs> Um, over here, this is something I'd like to do here, is avoid that guy, but uh, what I want to do here is go outside and go, go, go down here. Yep, that's how you get this heart piece. <laughs> you actually have to get this heart piece through a dungeon by going outside said dungeon. And by the way, remember this door for later because we're going to have to come... Uh, back through here a little bit later once we get something that will increase our strength, so to speak. Uh, which one of these can I push? I forgot. Uh, that one. Okay, you! <laughs> I'm just trying to look for the thing that I'm, that I need, but this isn't it. That's a fairy fountain. And you can't seem to go back in that fairy fountain once you go in the fairy fountain. It's just kind of unfortunate, now that I remember that, but it doesn't matter, because I, I can get fairies elsewhere. Anyway. I am- Oh, no, 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 no! <laughs> they can stop you in your tracks uh, when you are dashing through them on one horse- uh, No, not not a one horse sleigh on your winged boots. <laughs> mm, I believe this room is completely pointless, if I'm not mistaken. It's just there to kind of kind of trick you. Yeah, with a lot of levers, a lot of critters all at once. Yeah, I think the- Guy there in the sand, probably the biggest threats under the, this roof here. <laughs> probably. Come on, come on out. Come on. Yeah. See, so yeah, I, I, I don't think there's anything here. At least I never found anything here. It just seems to be some sort of trap room of sorts with critters. Yeah, you know the levers and the. Uh, uh, I believe they're called deviants, the ones that are in the ground. 
Uh, anyway, let's move on. Put the groove on. Oh, ow. <laughs> I am being way too sloppy here. This is where you need the key, by the way, but I'm not going to go there just yet. Because that's... Uh, mm -mm -mm -mm. <laughs> that's a little bit... Uh, let's show a little later. Watch this, watch this. This is completely pointless. Well, unless you want to exit, like, drop down from to the very start. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah. I actually fell for that, too, my first uh, run through there. I jumped down there thinking it was, like, the other side with the heart piece, and I was like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, it's a beginner's trap. And this contains a compass. And... I'm just gonna kind of avoid tentacles and go up here. I'm gonna also zoom right through here as fast as I can because that's probably the best way to take care of this room. It's got some balls being shot in it off the walls. Uh, balls to the walls. Just, yeah. Alright, so. So, now that we have. Oops. <laughs> now that we have the big key, I pressed the wrong button. I'm used to going to the map screen to seeing our uh, accessories and presenting them to you. Uh, now that we have the big key, what we can do here is go over to... Wait, wait, was this... It was this room, wasn't it? With that big chest. Yes, it was. Okay. So we go grab this, pop that out, and then we open this. We get... The Silver Gauntlet... No, wait, it's the Power Glove. Wait a second. Hopefully these things react properly to your button presses. I mean, I I've I've seen how the Power Glove works before. I've seen how they work before, and that's... They are very inspiring. But they, it seems to be working good right now. <laughs> but I know Power Glove. Anyway, what I'm just doing is just resupplying here before I go over to the... Uh, uh, second section of the dungeon, I guess you could say, because I'm 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 really close to being done here already. Like, look, look at this, look at this. Yeah, that's that's all that's left. I've already been through all the rooms. The first dungeon of this game, really, really short. All right, so oh, I guess you can go back in that fairy room again. That's good. All right, now remember I went out here earlier. Now I can pick these up. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the silver, go I mean, the power glove can do. It can, they can pick up rocks of this color, including the larger kinds of rocks. So here we go, back in the Desert Palace. In part two, uh, which one moves, which one doesn't, I forgot. Oh, you could shoot me there. I thought I was safe there. What a rip off. Ah, she bargain priced bricks. Which one was it? Dang it, I forgot. <laughs> Arg. Maybe I'm supposed to push it into a certain line? Like I'm supposed to push it... Ah, okay, it's that way! It's not the other way, okay. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! I got the key! I... Uh, uh-oh! Oh no! I would like to resupply, though. <laughs> these... These are floor tiles and they've come for me! <laughs> I'm out of there! <laughs> those, those rooms... are crazy! Do not mess with those rooms. <laughs> they, well, actually, you know what? Maybe I should uh, go back to the flying tile just just to show you something here. Um, if you ever get trapped into a flying tile room, what you would probably want to do here is put yourself in a corner and uh, time your sword swings to when these tiles come after you. And yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's not foolproof though, as you can see there, because it's entirely timing based. But yeah, you just got to kind of put yourself in a, in a place that your sword can be used as your shield. Uh, I just thought I would mention this for the future, I suppose, um, even though... I don't have to do it now, <laughs> and uh, when all these floor tiles come up, they sometimes form a picture. In this case, this picture is going to be a skull, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. Okay, we're done here. Wait, actually, is there another heart in here? No, there's not. Oh, poopers. Well, I've, I've still got my fairies on reserve anyway, so it doesn't really matter all that much. So, yeah. Anyway, next door. Uh, the rest of this path is pretty linear, actually. Uh, it's... Like, it's, it's pretty straight all the way over to the boss from here on out. Like, in what in terms of what you have to do and puzzles and whatnot, it's not... In fact, it's not even that puzzling. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! Uh, I probably will have to use that my fairy soon, won't I? Yo! Yo! 
Whoa! <laughs> Woo <laughs> okay, there's a key there. So I, I thought I was gonna have to light the, uh, I mean, light the, uh, can- <laughs> Light the torches here with my lantern. Well, I'm gonna see if I get anything by doing this. I don't think I do, though. No, I don't. It's just a complete, utter waste of time. <laughs> It's just there to make you think that you gotta avoid the Beemos guys. But no, you don't. No. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. No. Oh, key. Out. Go. <laughs> those, those rooms are just crazy. Alright, I need the bow here. Obviously. Well, at least I'll need the bow to do this fast enough because otherwise he's gonna be in my way. Whoop, whoop. Now I'm gonna get the lamp out. And get to lighting these. I believe they go out uh, if you don't do it fast enough. That's all you need to get rid of him so he wouldn't get in my way. And now this opens up the actual place. To the boss! Let's go in and face off against Lamolas. What's Lamola? It's multiple bosses actually, and those rocks that uh, fling out of the ground actually hurt you, by the way. So be careful of that. Yeah, they go at diagonal angles, so you're relatively safe uh, getting ready to attack them at a sort of vertical area like that. So yeah, uh, although when you get down to one, it gets a little bit, little bit uh, dicier. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> and I'm surprised I'm I haven't used a fairy here. <laughs> In all honesty, because you don't know when they're coming out of the ground. Ah, take that. And I should say, not not where they're coming out of the ground, which direction they're coming out of the ground. Like, you can't tell which direction they're moving or they're going to come out of the ground. Sometimes what happens is that I get whoop, trapped in the middle of them by getting bounced into them by hitting something with a, with an attack. Oh, one down! One down! And now... Oh, come on. Come on now. We can take them down to one. Their teamwork is no match for my wits. What... Be what small bit of wit that I have. <laughs> oh, there we go. Yeah! Ha! Yeah! Alright, now it's gonna start flinging stones in eight directions. Yep, gotta look out for that. And it also doesn't stay out of the ground as long. Yeah! Ow! <laughs> I am okay, though. We are still good. As long as I can get myself out of the way with my bouncing. I will win! Woohoo! Oh yeah! And another pendant is mine. Do a dance, because another dungeon is totally cleared out. Oh yeah! The pendant of power? One more to go? And with that, I'm going to end off the video here. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next video, whenever that shall be, probably tomorrow. <laughs>